Hello, and in this lesson, we'll be learning everything about automation clips. What is an automation clip, how to use them, why to use them, and many more questions that you've been asking me in the past. Now, to fully understand automation clips, we first must answer this one question. What is an automation clip? Before I start telling you what I think, let's head over to the ImageLand website and check out the official term for it. Automation clips move linked controls on the FL Studio interface or plugins. They're closely related to event automation and our type of internal controller. Unlike event data, they're not bound to a specific pattern and exist as a special type of generator. So now you know everything about automation clips. Thanks for watching. Well, not so fast. Let me explain you what an automation clip is in more simple language. I think an automation clip is an internal controller that basically controls a certain event for you automatically without you having to adjust it manually mid song, such as a filter cutoff, channel pitch, channel panning, master volume, etc. Now that we got that out of the way, we can go to our second question how to use an automation clip. Well, one simple way to get started is to choose what type of event you want to be controlled automatically for you. It's like choosing what car you want to buy. Do you want to have a manual gearbox so that you have the freedom to switch your gear whenever you want? Or you want an automatic gearbox so that you don't have to worry about switching gears all the time and you can just sit back and enjoy the ride. For this example, I will be automating the filter cutoff of this lead. To create an automation clip, simply right click on the frequency and choose option create automation clip. Now before we go any further, you might run into a few problems. If you wish to automate some sort of an event from a third party VST or plugin like Nexus, Serum, Massive, etc. You will see that if you right click on an event, there is no option create automation clip. So in this case, creating an automation clip will be different from before. So how do you do this? Simply click once on your chosen event that you want to automate and then from there go to tools, last tweaked, create automation clip. Awesome, so far we have learned what is an automation clip and how to create your very own automation clip. Now before we answer our last question, why to use automation clips, let's go back to the image line website and check out this image. As you can see, they have pointed out all the different features of an automation clip. I highly recommend you to download this image and learn from it. So whenever you run into a problem, you can always pull out this cheat sheet and fix your issues. Now keeping this image in mind, let's apply these different features in our very own projects. So we stopped at the lead filter cutoff. From here, we can tweak this automation clip however we like. For example, you can add a control point by right clicking. From here, we can move it around or even create a new one. Again, by right clicking, we now have two control points. Now, if you look carefully, in between these two control points, we have the tension handle. You remember that. If you don't, that's okay. Just go back to the cheat sheet and revise. Anyways, let's move on to another important feature, the clip menu. If we left click on that, right off the bat, we see a lot of options. In the clip menu option, you can customize your automation clip, rename it, change the color, and much more. But the most important feature of all here, I believe, is the make unique option. You might ask, but what does it do and why is it so important? To understand this option, let's exit out of the clip menu window and go back to our playlist. Now, these following steps won't make any sense to you if you're new to automation clips, but just trust me and follow exactly what I do. Left click on the automation clip box and then left click again anywhere else in the playlist. As you can see, now we have created two automation clips. But what is the problem here? Well, look, if you move any of these two automation clips, it will automatically move the other clip with it, which is good and all. But what if you want the second automation clip to be completely different from the first one? This is where the make unique option comes in handy. Left click on the clip menu window and choose make unique. This will initially overwrite the selected automation clip and make it separate. Now, if you try to adjust it, it will no longer stick with the first automation clip. And now you have two completely different automation clips that you can play around with. So we are almost at the end of this video, but before we sum it up and answer our last question, let me show you this cool feature that probably not many know about. If you double click on the automation clip box and click on the articular tool, you will see a lot of cool and handy options. But just for now, I want you to pay close attention to the copy state option and the create sequence option. If you click the create sequence option, a little window will pop up. In this window, you'll initially create a cool pattern. You can mess around with this and make patterns without you even realizing that you can do that. 
Now that you have created your pattern, we can exit out of the window. Moving on to the copy state option. In short, it will copy all the settings you have on that particular automation clip. From here, we can paste all of the other attributes onto another automation clip. To do that, double click on the automation clip box, click on the articular tool and choose option paste state. Now you have successfully copied all these attributes from one automation clip to another without having to replicate the exact settings that you had manually. With all this aside, let's go back to our initial question. Why should you use automation clips in the first place? Well, for instance, automation clips can make a song sound more interesting and versatile. You can add a lot of cool transitions and effects that will make your song really stand out. Without using automation clips, you will have to trigger all the event envelopes manually mid-song, which will probably result into horrible results if you don't know what you're doing. Not saying that not using automation clips is a bad idea, but it is better to use automation clips to make everything move and, and trigger automatically. Anyway, hopefully you've learned something today and if you liked this video, make oh sure to comment God. below on what you think oh, and Jesus. subscribe to the channel, just give some support. Thanks for watching, peace.